Get over here! How's it going everybody? The Green Scorpion here, and welcome to the third episode of Let's Play Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. I am the Green Scorpion. And I'm the Comic Foil. And why is that firework frozen? It's a picture of a firework. It's not a real firework. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're right. Kind, kind of not as good as looking at real fireworks, or even videos of fireworks. You, you want to know the sad part right now, and I feel so ashamed to admit this. I only now, after all these years, notice that it that, that background actually appears anytime you switch kingdoms. Um, I think it's sad that we're sitting here still talking about this. <laughs> I'm having a good time. Are you having a good time? <laughs> I'm having a blast. Like, you, you know me. I love this game. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and... There we go. Oscar has to oh, be the one this playing level. because he is way better at this game than I Okay, am. this level. I also, like, I don't remember any of the music in this game aside from, like, two tracks. I'm starting over again yeah. because I missed that. You missed that big. Well, it's right, right at the beginning, so you might as well. Yes. We, we did the same with, uh... Oh, didn't mean to do that. Gotta clap. Okay. We did the same with, uh, Silver Snow Peak, the last, the last episode, so... I feel no shame in it. As long as, like, early in the episode, I suppose. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, anyway, you were saying? Um, no, it's pretty much done. So, would you say this is your favorite Donkey Kong game? I'm okay with that. I, I, I'm thinking it's your favorite Donkey Kong game. Oscar is in deep zen right now. Honestly, like, I wouldn't be surprised if it is, because I do really enjoy this game a lot. Mine will probably be, uh... I missed that, didn't I? Uh, I should've... I should've hit that clap. Oh, well. I didn't see what you missed. I missed the uh, flowers from earlier. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, bouncing. No. Okay, the flowers aren't a big deal. Okay. Okay. See, normally you're supposed to clap out loud, but for the sake of technology and everything and, and precision, Oscar's been tapping the sides of the bongos. Um, please let us know yeah, in please. the comments how this sounds. Pro probably a question we should have asked ourselves earlier, but... Oh, um, Jesus. Yeah, probably should have been, but I guess that's okay. Uh, but, again, like, we're, we're kind of, I, I'll say this much right now, we're recording the first few episodes in one second. Yeah. So, yeah, please let us know, guys, like, how this sounds, are the bongos too overpowering, or, like, is this just, like, weird to listen to? Uh, cause I'm pretty sure, like, I, I, I that was a complete accident. Don Kong's just so excited, look at it, look at his smile. Yeah, look, look at that glorious smile. Look at, look at that fur shading. He looks so good. I know, it looks amazing. I mean, the face is a little weird, but it looks good for GameCube. Flowers. I don't remember Donkey Kong ever collecting flowers before. That That's a new one. Yeah. Really, it's just the mechanic of the game. Ah! So we got a desert stage. Um... Yeah, I've expressed in the past I'm not a huge fan of desert stages, but that's just me. Also, just the, the geography of, of the world Oh, in this okay, game. these guys actually hurt, so... Like, the geography doesn't really make any sense. Like, you go from, like, a snow level to, like, a uh, deciduous forest to desert. And... Yeah, it's really weird. Cause in the Donkey Kong... One thing I really like about Donkey Kong Country... Um, all, all three of them is that on the world map when you're moving to different stages you actually saw like an above view of what this world would look like with each of the levels incorporated into it i can't believe i actually made it up here despite the fact that i missed the first one yeah this is you're gonna get this platinum man you got this oh okay that's just a monkey i thought that was an enemy for a second it's just a monkey and those are okay i thought I thought this really was Subspace Emissary, because they, when they're buried, they look like those kissing enemies from Brawl. Yeah, they kind of do! Every enemy in Subspace Emissary is, like, the most annoying thing. Yeah, they really are. Um, like, did you actually like Subspace Emissary? I did in a way. I, th I thought it was something that could have been improved upon in another Smash Brothers game, but they decided to, like, not do the story mode. Yeah. And I, I guess mean, I respect that. I mean, there is a, what's it called, uh, like, from the 3DS, uh, thing. Uh, oh, the, the Smash Run? Smash Run, that's Smash it. Smash Run. Yeah, I actually do like Smash Run, to be honest. <laughs> I mixed the name Smash Run and City Trial together. <laughs> it, it's that's totally kind of, City Trial, yeah, that's, that's the thing. What it is. 
Sakurai tends to... So Sakurai makes the Kirby games and Smash Brothers and also made Kid, Kid Icarus Uprising. And you see, you tend to see... Similarities. Themes, yeah, themes go in his games a lot. Like how achievements are unlocked with the, like, board where you, like, open a okay, square. Okay, I'm going to do that again. Because I know, I know what happens here. Okay, you're over 1,200, so... Yeah, I'm good, but still. I like, uh... I like, I like being a show-off, you know this. Oh, I can't do it anymore because of those freaking, uh, because I missed that. Oh well, just gonna do this then. Not showing off no more. Oh, the soccer balls. There we go. I really want to see Donkey Kong bust out some of these moves in Smash Brothers. Oh, though. that would be fantastic. I mean, I know he does sometimes in like, oh, this thing. Isn't he like the lowest of tiers in Smash Brothers? Um, somewhere along those lines, but that doesn't stop people from steamrolling with him because apparently, like, he's got this like secret meta that actually makes him pretty decent. Th that's at least what I from like what, about Smash at least from what I've seen. Almost every character gets used sometimes in, in Smash Brothers. Maybe not at the highest competitive leagues, but everybody has their niche. Mm -hmm. there, there's no Pichu's in the new one. Yeah. And at least Zelda's useful, thankfully, for me. Yeah. Alright. There were bananas inside the watermelon. Okay, this is one of my favorite boss types in this game. So we've seen the boxers, we've seen the rock, and this is... The hogs. Ah, I, I, keep, I keep thinking it's start. I, it's, it's actually clap. <laughs> it's a... I just really like the music in this, and... I don't know. I like this boss a lot, frankly. And the later and the later hogs get really intense. He's an electromancer. He is. I actually included him and used his music in my video. It reminds me whatever of that for whatever that mattered. It reminds me of Bebop from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Also, his name is Rogue Hog. Yes. Not, not to be confused with Road Hog. <laughs> You, you know what would be awesome? If Roadhog got a skin that was this guy. <laughs> that would be the most obscure reference. I know, and it would be great. <laughs> I think it's more likely that they would give him, like, a Bebop skin. I can dream, guys. On the ropes. Almost. On the ropes. He, like, smashes his head to wake himself back up. Ooh. Oh, he's getting, he's getting mad. Yeah, he actually does have a melee attack if he gets too close. They call me Mr. Pig! Well, Mr. Pig, you're dead. Ah, oh, it's brutal. Right on the nose, man. That's gotta hurt. You're like Ralphie beating up Scott Parkus. Like, jeez. <laughs> I only lost five beats there, and that's perfectly fine. Because we got 1,500, which is enough for Platinum. I don't think we should say you lost beats. I think we should say you skipped beats. But, like, I, I know it's a pun, but, like, wouldn't that be a cooler way to refer to it? Like, oh, I skipped a few beats there. Maybe? I, I still can't get over how bad it is. It's not... Guys, puns get way worse than mine. I... Oh, no! They certainly do! It's just... Uh, they make me cringe, all right? I don't do puns. It, it's hard work doing puns. Half of them aren't technically puns. They're wordplay. But I, I know. Okay, there you go. Like, there, there's the tip that we were talking about earlier, where, like, increase uh, the beat count and all and whatnot. It's right there. Yeah, you've been doing that since, like, stage one, though. Yeah. Again, like, I, I, I play this game a lot, so I know how it works and everything. But, uh, yeah. Um, that was the Watermelon Kingdom. Yep. And, uh, these episodes are deceptively short, man. It's good. It's a little. But again, like it's the beginning of the it's the beginning of the game. Once we get into the later kingdoms, it's gonna be a lot cooler. Yeah, keeping it bite sized. Best. Oh snap! I I didn't even realize. Yeah, like we spent the most time on the banana kingdom. Well, yeah, because we were introducing the game, and I think that might actually just be. No, it's still a short level, but we were we had to do that intro stage, and then we talked about it on the yeah, menu for and a it, while. And in, and in this and in this uh, kingdom, it was Silver Snow Peak again. It was that uh, yeah Hofer, Hofer stage. And Monkey Fest was a really short level because it was like, it, it was basically just one big stream of uh, beat of yeah. like combos. Just kind of, just kind of chilling. Which, by the way, yeah, like going back to what you were saying earlier, kind of weird going from a festival to a desert oasis. 
Yeah. Speaking of which, yeah, it's just called Desert Oasis. You could hold a festival in Desert o Oasis. like Yeah, Bur but it wasn't in a desert. Like Burning Man? I guess. But it wasn't in a desert, though. It w there was clearly a tree there. You'd think the Watermelon Kingdom would, like, have water areas. This is more of, like, a fire melon or, or like, an earth melon. Yeah, and I, I, speaking of which, I believe the Apple Kingdom does not have a water level. Massive Canyon and Ice Warren. So, like, okay. I, I kind of get that. Frozen apples? What what warrants frozen apples? I mean, if you, like, cut into... I, I don't know. It's just something to think about for next episode, I suppose. Yeah. Thank you guys for joining us for the uh, Watermelon Kingdom. I'm the Green Scorpion. I'm Comic Foil. And the next time... Uh, we'll see how you like these apples. Uh, you you were you were thinking it. I actually was uh, tr I was I was actually like going more towards the direction of uh, we're not going to visit the doctor next time. Oh yeah, the doctor came anyway. Uh, <sighs> Get, getting right down to the core of the problem. I am stooping to your level, man, and that scares me. Just gotta kind of worm your way in there. Mm, I got that one. Ah. Ah oh, man. We got, we got, like, what, 12? Yeah, we got, like, 12, 12 more, more stages of this. Oh, man. If, if they have, like, if they have, like, pomegranates or, like, persimmons or something, I, I'm, I'm stuck. I don't, I don't know, I don't think they have persimmons. I don't know if they have, I think they have a pomegranate. I don't remember. Durians? They do have durian. Oh, great. The durian kingdom. I remember that <laughs> Super Mario Sunshine war flashbacks. Oh, good lord. Those baskets, man. There are baskets everywhere, and the Piantas they just watched. <laughs>